Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss this example. So we have to solve this double integration, but the condition is that we have to convert a problem into polar form, into polar coordinates, and then we have to find its value. So let us try to find the region first. We will find the region of integration. Then we will convert a problem in polar form and then we will solve it. Okay. So let us start. So as you can see here, the inner integration with respect to y. So these are limits of y. And obviously, these are limits of x. So let me mention here, therefore, the region is bounded by, is bounded by what we have x is equal to 0. The second core is x is equal to 2. Next is y is equal to 0. And the last one is y is equal to root 4 minus x square. As we know, x is equal to 0. This is equation of y axis. This is y axis. x is equal to 0. Let me show here x is equal to 0. x is equal to 2. This is a line parallel to y axis. So x is equal to 2 represents a line which is parallel to y axis and passes through x is equal to 2. So let me show that line here. So the line will be like this. So this is x is equal to 2. y is equal to 0 is obviously represents x axis. y is equal to 0. This is equation of x axis. And the last one is y is equal to root 4 minus x square. First of all, we have to remove that square root. So for that, I am going to take square of both sides. If I take square of both sides, y square is equal to 4 minus x square. Let us shift x square on this side. So we will have x square plus y square is equal to 4. That means x square plus y square is equal to 2 square. So this is equation of standard circle. Okay, so this is equation of a circle. This is a standard circle with center. Center. Center is 0, 0. And radius, will you guess the radius? The radius is 2. Okay, since x square plus y square is equal to a square. This is equation of circle with center 0, 0 and radius a. So if you compare this equation with that one, you can easily see the center is 0, 0. And at a place of a, we have 2. So that's why radius is 2. So let me draw a region circle there. Ready? With center 0, 0, radius 2. So I'm drawing a rough sketch here. So circle will be like this. So this circle we have. So our region is bounded by y axis. Region is bounded by x is equal to 2. Region is bounded by y is equal to 0. And region is bounded by this circle also. Right. So actually uh, there should be uh, two possibilities. Either this part or this part. Getting. But see here. Uh, maybe we'll get confused. So dy we have. So inner integration with respect to y. That means the strip is parallel to y axis. Inner integration with respect to y. So that's why strip is parallel to y axis. The strip is bounded below by y is equal to 0. So strip is bounded below by y is equal to 0. That means region above the x axis. Getting the point? What is the given thing? Region bounded by all these four curves. So this region and this region both satisfy this condition. But but strip is parallel to y axis and bounded below by y is equal to 0. So strip should be here. So that's why I'm saying this is region of integration. So this is the only possibility okay, for the given integral. So this is region of integration. Now we have to convert a problem in polar form. So let me mention there in just a minute. Let me remove this part. Okay. So to convert a problem into polar form, to convert problem into polar form, see to convert a problem into polar form we put, so we have very standard substitution x is equal to r cos theta, y is equal to r sin theta and dx dy is equal to r dr d theta. So to convert a problem in polar form, we use this substitution. 
सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट टास्क इज वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट द गिवन इक्वेशन इन टू पोलार फॉर्म ओके सो वॉट इज द स्टैंडर्ड इक्वेशन वी हैव वी हैव दिस सर्कल सो लेट एस कन्वर्ट इट इन टू पोलार फॉर्म एंड देन वी विल फाइंड द लिमिट्स ओके मेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ इट देन वी विल गो फर्दर सो वी हैव द इक्वेशन ऑफ सर्कल वी हैव एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू फोर सो आई एम गोइंग टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू पोलार फॉर्म वी पुट एक्स इज इक्वल टू आर कॉस थीटा एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू आर साइन थीटा सो लेट मी राइट एक्स इज आर कॉस थीटा स्क्वेर सो आर स्क्वेर कॉस स्क्वेर थीटा वाई इज आर साइन थीटा सो आर स्क्वेर साइन स्क्वेर थीटा इज इक्वल टू फोर कैन बी टेक आर स्क्वेर कॉमन देन वी विल हैव कॉस स्क्वेर थीटा प्लस साइन स्क्वेर थीटा इज इक्वल टू फोर बट इट्स वैल्यू इज वन सो दैट्स वाई आर स्क्वेर इज इक्वल टू फोर लेट एस टेक स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ बोथ साइड सो आर इज इक्वल टू टू सो दिस इज इक्वेशन ऑफ सर्कल आर इज इक्वल टू टू सो नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द लिमिट्स राइट सो वी नो दैट इन पोलर फॉर्म अवर स्ट्रीप स्टार्ट एट ओरिजिन सो अ स्ट्रीप इज लाइक दिस सो इट्स वन एंड इज फिक्स ओके विच इज एट ओरिजिन इट मूव लाइक दिस एंड इट हैज टू कवर द एंटायर रीजन ऑफ इंटीग्रेशन ओके सो लेट मी राइट द लिमिट्स ऑफ आर फर्स्ट स्ट्रीप स्टार्ट एट ओरिजिन सो वेयर द वैल्यू ऑफ आर इज जीरो एंड स्ट्रीप एंड्स एट दिस सर्कल गेटिंग वेयर द इक्वेशन ऑफ सर्कल इज आर इज इक्वल टू टू दैट मीन्स द अपर लिमिट ऑफ आर इज टू आफ्टर दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ थीटा so that strip has to move and it has to cover the entire region of integration strip will start here where the value of theta is 0 and that strip will move like this okay it will move like this and it will cover the entire region the region finishes here so the here the value of theta is pi by 2 90 degree so that's why theta is 0 to pi by 2 okay so in this way we got the limit so let us put and solve so therefore let me mention i is equal to so always in case of polar form always inner integration with respect to r outer integration with respect to theta limits of r 0 to 2 limits of theta 0 to pi by 2 so what we have inside the integration this one e is to r x square x square means r square cos square theta since x is r cos theta y square means R square sine square theta since y is R sine theta, dx dy which is R dr d theta. So this is equal to integration zero to pi by two, zero to two e raised to. Can we take R square common in power? So R square we can take common inside bracket. You will have cos square plus sine square which is one. So R square R dr d theta. so as i told you earlier our inner integration with respect to r always and outer integration with respect to theta so 0 to pi by 2 inner integration 0 to 2 e is to r square r dr outer integration with respect to theta okay see we cannot solve this problem directly there is a need of substitution we are going to do that thing just make a screenshot of it then we will go further see generally what we put whatever in power whatever in angle we put that thing so here in power we have r square so i'm going to put r square is equal to t putting r square is equal to t see its derivative should be easily adjustable huh? then we put that thing so after putting anything uh, our first task is to find derivative our second task is to find limits so let us find derivative first derivative of r square is 2r we write dr here derivative of t is 1 so we write dt so 2r dr is dt r dr we have so let us adjust r dr by shifting 2 on that side we'll have dt by 2 so the first task is over our second task is to find limits let us find new limits what are old limits limits of r 0 here and limits of r upper limit 2 So let us find new limits of t. Sorry, ha. Huh? Here new new limits of t. I am going to put r is equal to zero. R square is zero. 
I'm going to put R is equal to 2 here, T is 4, 2 square is 4. So therefore, I is equal to 0 to pi by 2, right? Integration, new limits 0 to 4, E raised to R square means what? T. And R dr means what? DT by 2. Okay. And outside we have D theta. 2 is 1 by 2 is constant. Let us take it outside. 0 to pi by 2. Integration of e raised to t is e raised to t 0 to 4 d theta. Okay. So 0 to 4 are limits. Uh, just let me clear that part. Then we will start. See, I am going to put upper limit and lower limit. Okay. So let us put upper limit first. 1 by 2. 0 to pi by 2. If I put upper limit, we will have e raised to 4 minus e raised to 0 dt. So it's a constant. Let us take it outside e raised to 4 minus e raised to 0 is 1 divided by 2, 0 to pi by 2 d theta. Sorry, yeah. d theta we have here. Also, I should write d theta. So e raised to 4 minus 1 by 2. Integration of d theta is theta 0 to pi by 2. So e raised to 4 minus 1 by 2. If I put upper limit, we will have pi by 2. If I put lower limit, we will have 0. Let us simply multiply pi e raised to 4 minus 1, 2 into 2, 4. This is required answer. Okay, so make a screenshot of it. Then we will stop. Thank you. See you.